about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, the baby released a new album today. Uh, 14 songs, one feature, no rappers. And there's a song that's trending that everybody's talking about. It's called The Boogeyman. And let's play the clip that everybody's talking about. Well, there's no clip. There's, there's no the clip's not there. Oh, we got the clip. Let's hear it. Oh, Megan Thee Stallion waited to say that. Oh, no. Well, that is the clip of the record that everybody's talking about. I guess he, him talking about that, he might have had relations with Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, he's, he definitely said he waited to say it until his next album. So you know what that means. He did that uh, for promotion. Mm -hmm. He definitely did that for promotion and marketing. That was part of the uh, the marketing plan. I'm a married man, so at what point do you stop keeping it player? Because the baby said he was keeping it, he was keeping it, he kept it player. Correct. And waited to say it until his next album. So why you just, you know, why don't you just hold that forever? I guess, well, I guess I've been going back and forth in, in the press, right? Wasn't she mad at him for something? And I guess... It's, that's all he can stands. He can't stands no more. I don't know. I ain't see all that. We 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 looking too deep into this. We I mean we he, he said it. He said why he said it. He said he held it till his next album. It's so promote. Got it. everybody talking about the song, yeah, right? It's true. All right now, academics. He doubles down on going against the hip hop pioneers. All right now, if you don't remember, uh, academics said this the other day talking about some of the hip hop legends. Whoa. Have you seen any of these old rappers who be like, yo, they're the foundation of hip hop, really living good? That be looking really dusty. I kid you not. And then none of y'all try to cover me because I don't y'all either. So I'm just telling you the truth. Every time they be like an old, old nigga talking about hip hop, you be like, yo, bro, you sure you invented this? Now, also, you know, LL Cool J replied. He was uh, upset about it and everybody was talking about it yesterday. This is a little uh, of what LL said. It came to my attention that a DJ, I'm not going to say any names because I don't think it's necessary, a DJ basically said that um, a lot of the pioneers in hip-hop are, you know, they're dusty, or how can they be the pe person that, um, you know, invented hip-hop if uh, they don't have a lot of money, or if they don't look, or represent like they have a lot of dough, right? Let me explain something to you. Don't confuse someone's ability to develop a business model. Don't conflate. In other words, don't think just because somebody knows how to get money or fails to get money that they didn't make a contribution to the culture. This idea that you have to have money or else you don't have any value is a bad idea and it's a it's a misinformed way of looking at the world. Well, like I said, academics doubled down. He was on Twitch last night and responded to everybody. Well, I wanted to be an actor. I bet. So a lot of grew up watching you and they all signed the same up deal 10, 15 years old later after you did. What the f did you do, my? F it's not that I don't respect older artists. Is that I know that when it comes to business, y'all didn't do nothing. Right. So that's what academics said yesterday on Twitch. As I said yesterday, I knew people were gonna focus, you know, more on academics than the bigger conversation, which should be how do we take care of the founding fathers of hip hop. Like I see everyone talking about giving them respect and yes you should give them respect you should respect those who came before you all that's great but how do we make sure they can pay their bills how do we make sure we can keep we can help them with their doctor bills you know don't wait until somebody dies and y'all put something in their gofundme you know for their funeral right because it's, it's sad that they even have to have a gofundme for their funeral you know what i mean like how do you take care of them you know while, while, while they're alive and um yeah i mean i just think it's a bigger conversation to be had and you know yeah, and, 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 but I will say this, you know, a lot of those legends and icons, as we call them, kick down the doors so a lot of this, the new generation and our generation can actually make some money. You know, do you think if Michael Jordan and, and some of those athletes didn't do those deals that they did, that Kevin Durant and Steph Curry could get the money that they got? Do you oh, think that? Do you not. think that oh, all absolutely. these, you know, DJs and artists out there that that make all this all this money? Do you think they were able to do that if it wasn't for somebody like a Jay Z that's been been able to kick doors down, or or a Diddy that's that right. was able to kick doors down? So yeah, of course they're not going to make as much money as you know the newer generation because they have more you know more privileges. They're able to do more things that before Very we true. weren't able to do. We weren't able to own our own masters back then. We weren't able to get a lot of the things that we were able to get back then. And the reason we're able to get that now is because those icons and those legends were able to kick That's that right. door down and, and, and also, set that precedence. Also, I'm not going to lie. I got, I got a little concerned just now. With, can you play the academic clip again? Was he uh, was he talking to LL Cool J? Let me see. Well, I wanted to be an actor. I bet. So a lot of grew up watching you. And they all signed the same up deal 
10, 15 years old later after you did. What the f did you do, my? It's not that I don't respect older artists. Is that I know that when it comes to business, y'all didn't do nothing. Now, 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 act. You got to tone that down, because you, you're not gonna talk to LL like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever met LL Cool J. I met LL Cool J once at Bishop TD Jake's birthday party. LL Cool J looked like he should be somebody's running back right now. Not even running back. Somebody's goddamn defensive end or something. Oh no! Don't play with LL. <laughs> you, LL will still punch you in the face, you, hands you, down. Yeah, you got to simmer that down. I don't even like, know, how, you know how, old, how old LL is. I don't know if he's what fifty five, fifty six, somewhere like that. Yes. But LL was. He's in great shape. It will still knock you the f out. So you know, I know. It's, yes. I know it's cool. Mama to get said, respect. knock you out. And see, the thing is, like, the reason I say you got to simmer down because you know what I would like to see maybe potentially is somebody like a LL having a conversation with somebody like a academics. So you know, he could he could give him some of that OG wisdom. And, and you're not going to talk to LL like that. Right. <laughs> you know? right. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. So let's ha let's keep everybody keep this civil. You know what I'm saying? LL spoke, to, I think, to act with a lot of respect. I think so. Yeah. So I think that that respect should uh that respect should be returned. Yeah. That's what I believe. I remember when LL wanted to knock your face off. He definitely did. I'm you know glad, what I mean? I'm glad you Man, guys he, were able to have a nice conversation. Well, no, we I don't. We never had a conversation about it. Because I mean, it wasn't my my thing was, was based on like you know I think it was music. Or it was a, a a rap he had spit at the time. Was it the Naked Cowboy? I don't remember what it was, but I tell you one thing, LL is about six foot four, yep. <laughs> two thirty, yep. and got hands. Yes, he does. Right? So you just gotta be a little careful, you know, when you when you addressing addressing your elders. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Even that's if you all, look that's, at that's, that's that's all I'm saying. But to all the youngins out there, man, I'm gonna tell y'all this, and I want y'all to run with this, man. Do not put too much stock in youth and money, because those are the two most fleeting things in the world. You're not going to be the youngest person forever, and you're not going to be the richest person. So I, you cannot put too much stock in youth and money. Those are the two most fleeting things on the planet. And once again, you're not going to be the youngest person in the room forever, and you're not going to be the richest person in the room. So All right. that's my, that's my uh, Uncle Charla wisdom for the day. All right, and that is your rumor report. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Uh, donkey of the day is going to the Boston Celtics as a staff organization and mother effing crew. Okay, Larry Bird, F you too. All right, Kevin, you know what? Larry Bird ain't had nothing to do with this. Nope. We'll talk about it. All right, so but we're gonna open up the phone lines and have a conversation after this, right? Yes, we need to, man, because I don't think this is well, you know what? We'll talk about it. All right, we'll do that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> We'll be right back.